there's another bit of it. And that sort of speaks for itself. But we, we put this, we went to um, Palestine. Um, there was a group of artists that went to Palestine and they had this Santa's ghetto actually in Bethlehem in Palestine. So we put an image onto the the wall that separates, is a sort of apartheid wall, it separates Israel from Palestine. We're on the Palestinian side here. <coughs> and we put that up. And these are the, this is how tall the wall is, um, which is broken into a lot of the land of Palestine and taking away people's olive trees which have been growing for hundreds of years in their family. The whole thing is horrendous. And the, these will be Israeli soldiers up in the control towers up there. And you can see a lot of people go and do graffiti on it. It's not really that, well, it's not really that dangerous for Western people. For Palestinian kids, it's quite dangerous to do that. Um, and that was the thing we did in, in Berlin. Uh, a very big version of this image for control. This one is, um, I think we did a couple of years ago, it's called the Cafe of Equivalence. And um, we tried to find an equivalent uh, of the wages of a banker to um, how much they would spend on food as someone who actually made the food, actually um, picked the food. Um, and so we printed this on a leaflet and printed these images onto newspapers, finance pages, and then went out. We managed to get a a stall in the, in this market in the city of London, and then just set it up. And the idea was that we we worked out that the equivalent percentage of a banker's wage would be about 111 quid. So we asked people to. Um, pay 111 quid for little things of soup. I mean, it's obviously symbolic. We didn't expect anyone to pay it. And then through that, we had discussions with people. Again, it was about setting up a debate um, about um, inequality. You know, the people that pick this stuff that the people are making millions of in the city um, are making less than a dollar a day, a lot of them. If that. And as me frightening a banker, I never actually managed to give any soup to bankers because I thought I was going to poison them. I think. But, uh, and then it ended up in the place called the Design Museum, um, which is quite strange. But someone had seen it there, so they thought it was a, 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 a good design. And so it went amongst the Porsches and things like that. And then we took those images a couple of months ago to Prague. We have this thing called the Art Wall, which is on our main road, and um, put them up with these cars going by. And that, <coughs> ah, stop. Again. Yeah. That, you know who that is. I won't tell you about that. <laughs> um, but we've used that image. Um, that was done for Occupy, and then we did a, uh, a poster for the Occupy. This is when they were occupying St. Paul. And then took it out on a march. The idea was to have a placard where the hole allowed people to come through the images of the people on the march. And this was a um, student, big anti cuts march of students. So again, it's on paper with clips. It's all very crude material used. And that one was one, um, again, taking an image like, uh, um, and then changing it and making a sort of parody of the Elder Sitsky. And then finally, I'll just go through, I have got the, did this book a couple of years ago, and um, I, my idea was to make a book that was completely visual, that didn't have any words at all, that could work anywhere in the world. and. Uh, quite idealistic and I don't know if it um, works but um, and, and uh, you can see it's very small um, and I wanted it to be like a sort of object so it's got a cardboard cover you can actually throw it and it's kind of strong working on demonstration but, um, and uh, I wanted it to be under a tenner 
which so I, I was lucky. I got the tape to to publish it, and they kept it at that under a tent and printed it really well. And the idea is, is it's got these different stories in it. So when you open it, the chapters are are um, files. Um, they called files. Yeah. Folders. Folders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, folders. Um, and then the folder opens, and then you get a sequence. This one is about global warming and um, and the idea is that it creates a visual language, a visual sequence of images, um, and then that, and a lot of these are actual things. That's a photograph of a high school that um, I made with dust on it, and, um, and then it goes into the military and the police. So these are like double page spreads in it. Um, and some of these images are like, that one's about 30 years old. Some, a lot of them are done in the last couple of years. So it's a mixture of <coughs> digital and pre-digital images. Um, that was one done about disappeared people in Chile, people being painted out. And that uses those paintings that I did. So it's like a sort of culmination of all the work I've done, I think. I mean, and done in, and in a sort of very avail available form. The book is the most democratic form to me. I mean, other than the web, of course, which is where everything is free. But as an object, um, a, a book is something that's available to everybody um, who can afford a tenant, obviously. But, uh, and then it goes into the military. So seven chapters of, of work. And hopefully people will read it as a, um, as a sequence. That's, that, that, that's the idea of it. That, that's it. I just put that in there because I showed it in an exhibition. So that's, that was not put very big in the exhibition. And it had the originals of all the work in the show. And so this uses all those ones of uh, the medals. And that's Jesus, the painting. If, you were, if she brought a book to would you sign it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take away its value if she wants to sell it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great story. I don't know if any of you know Geoffrey Archer, the horrendous Tory. Yeah. <laughs> But if you can find the unsigned Geoffrey Archer, it's worth 40. He goes around, he goes around signing all his books everywhere. Um, and, and this is the only chapter about a specific place. This is um, about Palestine, uh, as I'd uh, been there. And these are the olive trees being pulled up. And that's a settlement, uh, an Israeli settlement being put down on Palestinian land, and that's a drone above. And then this, this, um, uh, this is turning into a, uh, a, a tank. The, the digger turned into a tank. And then it moved into, this is putting the, the wall up. So it's just a dark space. And then the, this one is about poverty, using that thing of the magnifying glass again. <coughs> and, then, and then that one, um, Oxfam used it, and then Occupy used it, we put it. This is one of the buildings that Occupy, Occupy in fact, up and they got thrown out of some pools um, around the corner in Finsbury Square. Um, and then, and then we did a. Um, that was Finsbury Square, but Occupy moved on to, and they made a big placard. And then that placard was seen by a group called the Robin Hood Tax, which is part of Oxfam, um, which is to try and get companies to pay a, t a small tax on their profits. Um, so they used it. Uh, these imaginative protesters outside the city's magnificent mansion house want the Chancellor to impose big additional taxes on financial trading, which they see as a casino. 
the Chancellor has a different answer to the risks in the mega banks. For the so that that was them taking that image and then thinking they could make it real, which they did with actors, with um, putting it out. That's just in the, that's in the City of London by Bank Underground. And then um, these, these are all about these use these pallets. This is all about poverty. Um, 